Secrets of Spanish Florida uncovers stories of America's past that never made it into the textbooks. WJCT is proud to feature additional local stories from Florida's history. My name is uh, Michael Uzena, and I am a direct descendant of the first Menorcans that came to St. Augustine in uh, 1768. Menorcans were, were net makers. They, they, they brought that skill with them from, from Menorca, and, and uh, basically I learned it from watching my father, and I couldn't have been probably eight or nine years old when I, when I started learning how to tie the knots, and, and uh, I don't recall getting a lot of tutoring from him, it, it, but uh, I probably always picked this stuff up by myself. But, uh, yeah, I've been making that since uh, the late 1940s. I have five generation grandfathers that uh, the fifth generation grandfather was on the boat that came to St. Augustine that brought that, that skill with him and it was passed down, you know, from, from, from father to son, father to son, right on down to, to now. I think it is important to try to keep it. I'm struggling to keep this art. It's an art, it's what it is now. It's become an art. It's gone from a necessity to an art. As it stands now, there's very little interest in making a net by hand, I can say that. I struggle with keeping people interested in it. And you would be surprised how many people I talk to in the different places that I go. You ask them, did they have any idea that cast nets were once made by hand? And people 50 and 60 years old had no idea. That's why I like to try to keep it, you know, going as long as I can. Funding for this program was provided in part by the Lastinger Family Foundation, the Huff Family Foundation, Weaver Family Foundation Fund through the Community Foundation for Northeast Florida, and the Joy McCann Foundation. Funding for Secrets of the Dead is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.